We start this video in the wilderness. I'm on my way to the west of the Graveyard of Shadows to grab two iron bars for the Night Sword quest. Um, hopefully I'll be okay. I need to make sure I go around that mammoth. Um, hopefully I'll be okay uh, and I'll also try not to run a Mozilla Firefox installer over the top of my recording that completely stopped it in the last video. I believe this iron bar is in level 18 of the wilderness, so that would mean that someone uh, 54, level, level 54 or above could attack me. I believe that's how it works. Uh, so hopefully this goes okay. Here's this iron bar. I was going to maybe think about uh, using uh, another account as a scout, but then I thought YOLO. I've just gone for it. Let's go for to world 41. There we are. Got the two iron bars. Let's get the hell out of here. And back to safety. There we are. I'm not going to do the night sword straight away. I'm actually going to go do Gertrude's cat. Uh, so I can get some cooking level uh, to make the redberry pie for Fergo. I've just popped to the grand tree to get a bucket of milk from the food seller. Uh, and I'm actually just going to train my fletching. I've got 1,395 headless arrows. I created those in the last video. Well, I didn't create those in the last video because I lost the footage. Uh, I'm going to buy... How, many, how much are going to buy? I think these are going to stay at one each, maybe. Uh, yeah, they're staying pretty constant. Uh, just going to apply these and try and get level 15 fletching. And at that, at that point, I can make iron arrows. There we are, level 15 fletching took 430 bronze arrow creations. I can actually buy uh, iron arrow tips from here now. There we are, I've got 965 headless arrows, 965 uh, iron uh, heads. So I can see where this gets me to. Hopefully level 20, I believe that's an early milestone for fletching. Awesome, that's level 20. I don't believe I'll be able to get any higher than that, but that's where I wanted to get to. Um, I believe I can make oak short bows at level 20. I'll need to double check check that actually. Uh, yeah, oak short bows at level 20, so that's good. That means I can uh, successfully bypass uh, cutting logs um, at just plain old trees. As I was saying earlier, this is a good place to um, actually get milk. Uh, no mater, oh no, it's not this guy, it's Hudo over here. If you you can buy buckets of milk from this guy, so if you just can't be asked to go to Lumbridge and milk a cow, uh, this is the place to go. Also, you can buy pineapples here, which are very useful for super compost. Um, so I always try and buy five uh, pineapples and just bank them. It's obviously super easy to get to the gnome stronghold as long as you've completed the grand tree and tree name village quests. There we are. I've got a kitten and I've got level. 14 cooking, which is four more than I needed to create a red berry pie. Well, I'll pick up the kitten because I don't want to lose them. Um, probably will at least get a few cats because you can trade them in to some guy in West Ardome for like death runes, which is pretty decent. My man, do you want some red berry pie, bro? His eyes light up. There he is, grooviest looking dude in RS. Well, maybe behind a black titan. Night sword completed. That's level 29 smithing from nothing. Uh, it's pretty decent. Just go quickly start Merlin's crystal and then complete Holy Grail. Um, Holy Grail gives you insane defense and prayer XP, so it's really worth doing as one of your low level quests. Um, also, arguably, it has like the best monster in the game. Merlin's crystal completed, now I can move on to the Holy Grail quest. I've just gone to my bank to prepare for this Black Knight Titan fight, and this is my best in slot gear. It, it's so higgledy biggledy, it's unbelievable. Uh, I don't know if I've got any gloves that actually give any stat bonus, but this is like so <laughs> bad. I can't believe that this is... I don't, I don't know if it's best in slot, but it's best in slot that I've got. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here comes the best boss fight in the game. Click away and attack. Click away and attack. 
But look at this dude, man. Look at him. He is just so groovy looking. Like, he was only recently updated in RuneScape 3, maybe like a year ago. Like, imagine RuneScape 3's, like, better graphics. I'm not going to say good graphics. Uh, and this guy just chilling out with the rest of it. Like, there was a, a monster app. I always just, like, popping on the RuneScape 3 monster app and, like, checking out Black Knight Titan. Check him out. But I don't think I look much better having said that. I am enjoying myself so much. Only about two minutes into this kill and I'm halfway through. There we are. That's done. I always want to go back and grab that loop, but we, I don't know why. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I've done this quest and then completely forgot to equip Excalibur right at the end and had to like go through that whole process of going backwards and forwards for like five minutes all over again. There we are, that's Holy Grail completed. Level 30 prayer and level 32 defense. So that's jumped up from like level 10 and level 18. Uh, so that's wicked. Um, should get those confirmations now. If doing that quest has taught me one thing, it's that I really need to get my magic level up. Um, get to like level 66 magic so I can go buy lore runes because I want to get them from the mage guild. And I know I could go to the wilderness and get them, but... Being a hard cut Iron Man wuss, I really don't want to do that. So I'm thinking um, I am going to get some cooking and fishing levels. And then after that, I'm going to go and safe spot blue dragons. So the aim is about 40 fishing and 40 cooking. That means I could do lobsters, I believe. Um, also, I'd like about 100 salmon in my bank account just as a good stock of food so I can replace the cake that I've got. I think I've got like 30 cake left from stealing them in like the first video I did. Also, didn't realise that I got over total level 500 from the uh, Holy Grail quest. So that's pretty decent, really. Pretty happy with that. So uh, that's level 40 cooking. Um, I've just been feeding... Uh, my kitten while I've been here I haven't been able to make it fully grow but as soon as it fully grows he's off to West Ardone. I guess it's time to train up my mage hopefully it won't be too difficult with it being peak time this is going to be my method to level 66 magic so I can buy lore runes for teleports from the mage guild um, kind of want to get the dragon bones obviously so I can use them on the Ectofunctus and hopefully get 43 pair that may not happen but if it did happen that'd be wicked I'm still going for it. I'm about a hundred or so kills in. Uh, how many bones do I have? I have 116 bones. I believe that should be enough for um, level 43 prayer. I've also started getting some law runes, actually nine law runes. So the first law runes I get won't be when I'm at the mage guild. They have an uncommon drop, blue dragons. Uh, I've just, it's been like five hours and I've got 51 magic. I've got another... 300k XP to go, so it may be a little while until this is actually done, maybe a couple of days real life, as it's the end of the weekend now. At the Ectofunctus, I need to do 124 Dragon Bones, uh, so I need to realistically get 10 more kills to get level 43. So the sit rep is, I started killing these on Sunday night, it's now 7.30 on Wednesday night. I mean, I haven't been playing in a day, but I've been playing in the night, like, pretty religiously, just killing those blue dragons. I've got 411 dragon bones, so I've killed 411 of them. I've got about 200k magic XP to go. And I also have spent nearly 1.8 mil. No, I have spent 1.8 mil, nearly 2 mil. So I was thinking, oh, I've got I've to speed this up somehow. And I was thinking, actually, I've got those diamond amulets. And I've got level 61 magic, also 47 hit points, which is pretty cool. Uh, so actually, I'm going to go kill something that drops cosmic runes. Because although they drop runes, they've actually dropped uh, 35 lore runes and 403 nature runes. Actually, maybe one or two more than that. Because I've actually high out some stuff. And also teleported to Falador back once or twice when I've actually got a water rune drop as well. Um... So I'm going to go kill something that has cosmic runes. Uh, I'm thinking that will be either Chaos Dwarfs or Hill Giants, depending on which ones suit me better. Do you want to hear something? These are not fun to kill. They hit very hard, very quickly. So I'm just going to run a little bit more south and go to the Hill Giants and hope there's a safe spot in the Tavoli Dungeon for them. I know there is an Edgeville dungeon, but don't know about Tavoli Dungeon. Uh, this appears to be a safe spot of some sort. Giant key. Does that get me to access to a place where I can kill the big hill giant boss? 
It does. It gets me access to Obol's lair. I may go and do that. I'm not totally sure if it would be worth doing, but I may go and do it. This appears to be a safe spot anyway, so I think I'll get by here. It may take me a little longer than I first wanted to, but oh well. Ooh, I got Longbow. That would be very useful for the construction XP. Awesome. Cosmic Moons. I was going to camp for longer, but no way. Like, that that took too long. I didn't want to kill Chaos Dwarfs because they were absolutely steamrolling me. So at least now I can enchant my Amulet of Power and do a little bit more damage to these dragons. So I'm going to enchant my Diamond Amulet. There we are. There's the Amulet of Power. And I'm also going to enchant a Sapphire Necklace to get a Games Necklace because that's the one I'm lo running low on. And it's... I don't know. I guess it's semi-useful. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I've done it now, so... YOLO. And that nicely adds six magic and actually plus six to all of these uh, attack and defense stats I believe. And with that little excursion completed it's time to carry on killing these blue dragons. Realistically I don't think this is going to be completed tonight. I need to get 165k XP still so this is maybe done tomorrow night. At a push tomorrow night. And then I can upload this video. I've got a feeling this dragon is going to be my final kill. There we are. Magic level 66. The grind is over. I'll just finish off killing this blue dragon. But I've now got the ability to enter the wizard's guild. Excellent. So I'm just going to quickly run back to my bank. And have a look at what killing X amount of dragons is. I believe it's over 600. So 647 dragon bones collected uh, I think I collected one less blue dragon hide because I forgot to pick it up at one point uh, I've also managed to get 59 law runes and 594 nature runes I've got like 50k's worth of uh, rune daggers here um, and just drops like that I've got a adamant full helm which is now my best in slot helm I've got three extra ones to out I think they out for about 2k each yep so uh, first though I want to quickly just run to the wizards guild well not run to it I can actually teleport to Ardone and then to the wizards guild into the wizards guild I go just bought 50 law runes uh, I've got like another 50 in bank 100 should do for now it will always be quite easy to get back to here in Venice uh, really really pleased that that grind is over robe store owner here they are i think this will come to like over 200k in the end let's just buy it so that was like 2.5k uh i bought my old blue wizard's robe top along because i actually want to see the stats just jump up there we are beautiful that'll make my hit chance a lot higher and I only look like a bit of a noob now, rather than a complete noob. I think this is going to be the end of the video. Really pleased to have access to the Wizards Guild. It means you can buy lore runes at any point. No problem. And see you later.